and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to use this monthly social media planner. If you want to watch this video, get inspired, build your own Google Sheets, you can go ahead. If you want the finished product, it's available for purchase on my Etsy store. I'm going to link it in the description down below. So let's get into it. The first thing you need to do is customize it. So you do it in this section and what's cool about this sheet is that it's going to work today and it's going to work forever because I built it in a way that all you need to do is input the month, the year, and you're not locked into using it only for 2022. You can use it 2022, 2023 and for however long you want to use it. So let's do February. You enter your platform. So let's say I also do TikTok. Then you enter your types of content, um, video, story, post, carousel, video, whatever you want. I left a lot of room so you can just get inspired, enter as many as you like. And then your goals. So you want follows, likes, you want people to comment, saves, you want purchases, whatever your goals are for a single post, your types of goals. And then your content pillars. If you don't know what that is, you can feel free to Google your niche and then content pillars and you're gonna find a lot of inspiration, okay? So there's room for that. And then there's room for your status. So if a post is in progress, you're working with clients and you're waiting for approval, if there's a change that needs to be done or if it's completely finished, whatever you want to enter here, it's gonna build a dropdown for your different status options in the next sections. The next thing I included is this hashtag manager. So the first thing you do is enter all of the hashtags that you will ever be using across all your different platforms. So I left room for 400. I hope that's enough. If it's not, you can just uh, message me and I will include more for you. The next thing you do, you can add uh, notes, whatever you want. This is completely free. The next thing you do is you build your hashtag groups. I've been watching uh, different videos and they tell you that you shouldn't be using uh, your hashtags repeatedly exactly the same every single post because it's if it doesn't really make that much sense to what you're posting, you don't post the exact same thing every single time. So it, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. and the platforms realize that, then the algorithm is not gonna like it. So what you do is you have room for 15 different groups. So if you post, um, let's do recipes and then healthy tips and then here um, vegan. So the first thing you do is you add the hashtags here. You shouldn't add them here if they don't exist here because this is a dropdown that's gonna be built by whatever you enter here. So let's do food. Um, Recipe, vegan, tip, hell, healthy, tip. So here in recipes, you do food, you do recipe. And then in healthy tip, you do tip, you do food, and you do healthy tip. And then on vegan, you do vegan and you do recipe. Okay, so you now have your different groups. You, there's room for 15. Down here, what happens is that whatever you enter here is going to be joined here by three different characters. So here it's going to be joined by the, you know, typical hashtag character. Here it's going to be joined by a comma and a space and here it's going to be joined only by a space. So it's useful because then you can just go ahead and copy and paste it somewhere else. The same is going to happen with every single group. Next, you pick your monthly strategy. So it's important to note that this sheet, you will create a new copy for it every single month. It's really easy to just go to file, make a copy. I recommend that you create a copy once you customized it, once you built your hashtag manager and you spread out all your groups, you're happy with it, then you go ahead and you create a copy and that copy becomes your original. So every single month, you just go back to that original file, make a copy, really simple. Then you go to your monthly strategy. You enter your main goals here for the month. What actions do you need to take to accomplish those goals? So it could be get more followers. What do you need to do? I need to post every single day. I need to provide more value, whatever you need to do. And then your to-do list, completely up to you. And then some room for notes. And here, important events. Uh, if you double click on the cell, it's gonna 
bring up a calendar and then you write down the event. So if you have an important lunch for your business, a day in which you're gonna, I don't know, give discounts, you enter it right here. And then there's room for your content ideas. So what usually happens to me if I'm just walking around and then I have an idea for some content to post, I just write it down somewhere and then I completely forget about where I wrote it down. So this section is for those types of things. So if you see a post, a video, get inspired by something, you come to this section and you write it down. So you write down your idea yeah, the platform, so make vegan chili. The platform, some notes. If you got inspired by a YouTube video you watched, um, you can put the link right here. And then once you use that idea and you executed it, you can just check this cell right here. The next thing is this content planner. So what you have here is this little calendar that is built automatically. So whenever you change the month and the year right here, everything else updates here okay so now it's March and this looks different because it's automated here in this section you have well you have six weeks I built it this way because there's a, a few months that go over the five weeks for example January well, January fills out this whole thing so I wanted you to have to be able to have flexibility so I just I built it to work with six weeks so you can use it however you want if you don't need the sixth week just don't use it and it's fine so you get six weeks and then every week you get the days. They are built automatically. So it starts Sunday 26th, that would be um, December. And then if you go all the way to this Saturday, Saturday one, and then the next week, right here you can see you get Sunday two and so on and so forth. So of course you go to the week and you input a main focus. This week I want to get followers, provide content, get more likes, whatever you want. This is completely up to you what you write there. And then here, this is where the magic happens. So you pick a platform. This drop down is built from your customizable section. You pick an idea. So I'm gonna do my vegan chili idea, content pillar. Let's say it's educational. Goal I want to get lots of likes and it's gonna be a carousel so this section you do not edit it you do not touch it and i'm gonna show you why right now so if you keep on doing this let's just copy it and let's do um this one the goal is to get follows and this one the goal is to get comments here i want to save so here i want people to purchase my recipe book so this is going to be a uh, short video and this is going to be a story so you just go ahead and do the same thing for every single piece of content you're posting you can choose different platforms you so the next thing you do is you move on to this section you have six weeks right here so if you click here you can go to week one which is right here and this as you can see it was filled out automatically so this is sunday and right down below you're going to find the five available posts for that sunday up to here five so as you can see numbers aren't repeated what happens is every single piece of content has a unique number so you can identify it in the following sheets so you go one to five then six to ten and so on until the last one is to ten so we go back to week one this entire thing is just five posts per day seven days a week so seven days and then five posts all the way up to here so this section gets filled automatically. Again, it was filled automatically and again. It's obviously optional, but you can enter an image. To do that, you go to insert image, insert image in cell, and then you can just browse or drag a file up here and it's gonna get uploaded. So if you have a link to Canva and you don't wanna upload the image here, you can just add it right there for you, your client, your team to click on that. Right here, you add the caption, so let's say, Welcome to my vegan chili recipe. Ingredients, let's do tofu ingredients. And then here, if you have a call to action, you add the link right here for you, your team, or whoever to remember. And then here is also a bit of magic. So remember how you built your hashtag groups right here. So we have recipes, healthy tips, and vegan. Here we have those. So what you do is that for this piece of content, number one, I am going to use the recipes hashtag group, and then I'm going to use the format hashtags. 
So as you can see, if you use commas, it changes right here. If you use spaces, it changes right here. So if you take it back to hashtags and then, um, I don't know, vegan, and then you see how this changed. Next, what? so in this section, you can just copy and paste only the hashtags. And then as a bonus section, what happens here is, as you can see, it joins together my caption and my hashtags. You can just copy and paste it. And then you can update the status. So if it's a work in progress, so this one is in progress. And let's say this one right here is waiting for, for approval. And number three needs change. So if you go back to your monthly content planner, you can see that this updated automatically. This repeats every single week. We have six weeks. It's not going to be as easy to delete the whole thing. That's why once you fill it out, because you have to go section by section, that's why I recommend that once you fill out your customizations and your hashtag manager, you create a copy and that one becomes your original and then you create a new copy every single month. If you forget to do it, don't you worry. You just select this right here in this um, little square right above the one and next to the A. You click there, select the whole thing, you control copy and then you go to your new sheet, control paste, and it's as good as new. Same for the customization. So this is it. I am going to show you one more time everything that's included. Right here. This is the whole monthly overview. This is updated automatically. And then here are your weeks. So you can see it's really, really pretty looking, but also it's really useful. It's going to avoid a lot of repetitive tasks like picking your hashtags. That would be one. I hope you liked this video. I hope you liked the template. I really enjoy building this stuff. I worked really hard on it. So if you like it and you want it, it's available for purchase on my Etsy store. I'm going to link that in the description down below. And if there's anything I can help you with, please let me know.